Cancer, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your reading for what this next major shift is bringing towards you between now and the beginning of this next month. Now, if you would like to skip the introduction, if you are a regular viewer, you can now click on the video and skip to the main reading if you would like to do that. I also have some announcements, so if you would like to stay to hear the announcements, then um, I encourage you to stay. But again, if you are um, already um, you know, one of my followers, uh, subscribers, and if you want to skip the intro or just watch it later, you can go ahead and, like I said, click on the video. I have now dividers where you can see the intro, and then if you don't want to watch the intro, you can skip straight to the main reading. Okay, so now um, this reading, okay, uh, is for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant within your chart, then please make sure to check those positions out as well. Okay, now that means that if this reading doesn't resonate with you, it could possibly be because you have a lot of, uh, you know, energy going on in other areas of your astrology chart. Okay, so just make sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first start off with this deck, okay? And this deck represents the energy that is influencing you and your entire reading. It's basically your dominant energy, okay? And now, if you would like to watch also the link to the extended, the link to the extended is down in the description box below right now. All of my extended readings for this entire time, okay, I reduced them to 50% off. So, I highly encourage you, if if you've been wanting to watch the readings, but you haven't been able to afford them, they are all 50% off, okay? Again, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And in the extended is basically where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result. And we will end a reading with any messages from spirit. Okay. So again, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. Now I'm going to be looking at your past present future position okay who and what is coming towards you also your challenge position okay how to overcome that challenge and also I'm going to be taking a look at what is in your opportunity. Now, one of the main announcements that I want to make, number one, all of the extended readings are 50% off, okay? The second announcement that I would like to make is I have been announcing, okay, since uh, last week and I think uh, the beginning of this week that uh, I've seen and I've noticed a drop in views, okay? And so me noticing the drop in views, okay, um, uh, I, you know, I, I, I find the need to ask you for your support as far as liking the video, okay, commenting down below, and also making sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, okay, and always click on that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post videos, okay, that you are interested in, because otherwise uh, my videos will not be shown to you on the feed. I'm not sure what's going on with YouTube. There's a lot of changes happening, so make sure to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, even if it's, yes, this reading resonated with me or whatever, you know, it is, your comments always, always help. Okay. Uh, you can even comment an emoji. All of that um, helps. Okay. Because again, I had been considering you know, going to a different platform since I saw a, a, a drop in views and I was feeling discouraged, but I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support, for all of your positive feedback and for mostly your encouragement. It's not easy for us as humans to be vulnerable, but you know, I said, okay, I can't just like leave. I have to like, let you guys know what um, the channel is going through. So again, thank you so much for liking, subscribing to the channel and commenting down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your dominant energy. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number six and it says victory and success. So this is all about, you know, you achieving, you know, um, your accomplishments, you achieving your goals, victory and success is on the horizon. You're going to celebrate everything that right now is conflicting you. It's going to harmonize in your life. So victory and success. Look at that victorious okay singing the song of victory and success if you see the number six 
606 or 666, it's not a bad sign, okay? That just means that victory and success is right around the corner. And also, um, if you also tune into the date, the sixth of the month, okay, could also be an indication for victory and success. Let me know in the comments below what you think this is all about, okay? Now let's go ahead and jump right into the tarot. I will be using the Rider Waite tarot and I will be uh, checking out and looking into your past, present, and future positions. And look at that preliminary message, the magician. You're getting ready to manifest. So step into that power of the magician. Manifestation, you know, um, victory and success. Wow. These are great messages for you. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be looking at your past, present, future position, who and what is coming towards you. The cards want to talk. They have messages for you. Lots of them. Okay. Uh, who and what is coming towards you. Also, what is in your opportunity, your challenge position, and how to overcome that challenge. All right. Remember, comment in the um, down below. Okay. Because it really lets me know that you guys are enjoying my readings. You guys want me to continue posting here on YouTube because I had mentioned to you before that the views had been dropping and I had been considering moving to a different platform and no longer posting on YouTube. But if you continue, you know, supporting my channel by liking, thumbs up, right? Giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, turning on that notification bell, and also commenting down below. You have no idea how much commenting down below. Again, thumbs up helps me. Okay. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because, you know, this all helps me, um, and the channel grow and it helps me know that you guys want me to stay on here okay because i was kind of getting a little discouraged until i told you guys a few days ago and i've been getting a lot of good messages i appreciate all your support the love i feel it okay so thank you all so much for your encouragement for your love support your like subscribes okay and commenting down below even if it's just an emoji right uh, a simple message down below in the comments it really really helps me and the channel grow i appreciate you guys so so much much, okay all right let's go ahead and see you are dealing with let's see mm, i see some energies here it could be the sign of taurus libra leo energy mm, what else do we have here aries whatever sign this is it could be any of the signs at the bottom of the deck what is going on here another victory and success look at that the six of wands victory accolades appreciation success is right around the corner so let me tell you if you've been going through a situation, you're like, you know what? I'm going to give up on this. If you've been ready to give up, you're like, I can't anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't move forward anymore. You can. Yes, you can. Because victory is right around the corner. When you least expect it, it's going to turn out in your favor. You're going to get a lot of attention, the appreciation that you've been wanting, the accolades. Oh my God, how did you do it? People are going to be saying, right? They're going to be asking right? Even gossiping. How did they do it? Oh my God. I would have given up if I were them. Well, guess what? You're not giving up because you're around the corner of victory and success. Okay. Achieving what you want, whether this is love related, career related, family related, finances, a business, relationship, a friendship, coworkers, bosses, Whatever area of your life this pertains to, you take it as it resonates because it is a general reading, okay? So if you see the energies where you're like, oh, that's my energy or that's that person's energy, not mine, go ahead and reverse the energies. You can feel free to do that because energies are fluid and it's a general reading. So take it as it resonates, okay? Again, it could be different areas of your life. It could be related to love, career, family, whatever this is. It could be that this area here that I'm tuning into over here. You're like, okay, that's happening in my love. Oh, that's happening in my career. Oh, that's happening with my family, right? It could be whatever area of your life you tune in with, okay? So victory and success, you have double victory and success, double sixes. Again, if you see the number six, it could be that something very auspicious is going to be happening on the sixth of the month. Okay. This new month, of course. Okay. This new coming month. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to be going into your challenge position. So in your challenge position, you have your three of pentacles and nine of cups and the empress. So I see here that part of the challenge has to do with the fact that exactly you're ready to give up. You're like, why am I not manifesting? When am I finally going to get, going to get what I want? Right. You're like, you're feeling like you're, you're not being heard. You're like, my God, is the universe not hearing me? Right. Where is God? Right. I've been 
praying, asking for this to happen, and you feel ignored. Some of you guys feel like the universe is just not, you know, uh, paying attention to you when it is, okay? I see here that also some of you guys might be dealing with a person who is very selfish, right? It's just about their own wants, their own needs, their own desires, and they never consider you. They never consider what you want, how you feel. They're very inconsiderate. It's all about them, 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 right? This person also, um, it could be an individual here who is just, you know, very selfishly oriented. For others of you guys, that's the reason why you're not seeing your wish fulfillment because you're around people who are very selfish, right? Who are not considering you. Uh, but I'm also seeing here that part of the challenge has to do with a lack of growth. There's something here that you've been investing in on. You've been putting in the work, the effort, and you're like, it's not growing. It's not happening. Why is nothing happening? When is anything going to grow out of this, right? You feel like something here is not happening. It's not going to grow, okay? I'm also seeing here that part of the challenge has to do with some kind of... um you not being able to agree with a person or a group of people. There's some kind of disagreement, whether this is career related, love related, family related. You're not seeing eye to eye. You know, you want one thing, they want another, right? And so there's no agreement. That's part of the challenge. You guys agreeing. For others of you guys, part of the challenge has to do with the fact that this person is not giving you what you um what you deserve if this is a career they're not paying you the money that you're worth you're doing all the work and you're not getting paid for it they're putting all the responsibilities on you and you're not getting paid for it okay it's unfair now i'm also seeing here the part of the challenge is if it's a relationship or a family dynamic then there's an energy where you're not feeling uh, valued in this area you're not feeling you know loved you're not feeling cared for you're not feeling like they're seeing your worth, you know, what you bring to the table. It's like, you're like, okay, well, I mean, I'm doing this for what? For nothing, right? It's like you feel, some of you guys feel like you're invisible, okay? But that's not the case. I'll tell you why right now, okay? So let me know in the comments below what's going on, what is happening here for others. Somebody here is, um, it's like, okay, let me put it to you this way. Some of you guys, um, are dealing with an energy where you're trying to make it work so much that you're doing too much. It's like one person feels, um, what is the word? Smothered. Okay. Don't smother people. Don't smother situations. Don't give it too much that that person or a group of people or situation is like, ah, that's a lot, you know? No, that is not the way of getting attention or getting the appreciation that they're not giving you no smothering smothering is detrimental okay so somebody here might feel smothered whether you or this other person now in the recent past i see here the fool okay the four of wands reverse and the uh five of cups also part of the challenge has to do with the fact that you're not giving yourself the love the appreciation that you're giving another person or another situation or your career some of you guys are too focused on the outside on a career on a relationship on a person and you're forgetting about you don't forget about yourself that's where everything starts from you need to take care of you first okay nurture yourself some of you guys are not doing that and you need to start to okay now, in the recent past, I see here that you took a leap of faith into something new, either a new project, a new career, a new business, right? Um, um, you went, you know, on an adventure, you were single, maybe you went into a relationship without thinking. You were just like, okay, I'm feeling excited. This is it. This is the one, you know, um, the one project, the one idea, the one business, the one relationship. And you took a leap of faith without really thinking. Well, guess what? somebody ended up feeling foolish because you didn't think things through whether it's you or somebody else because it ended up in a breakup it ended up not working out it ended up um in a disconnect okay in the recent past and somebody here ended up regretting it they were like okay you know what i shouldn't have done that if this is you you ended up regretting it you know feeling like it was a disappointment it caused some kind of a disappointment, okay? If this is somebody around you, somebody here ended up regretting something that they did with you, okay? Something foolish. We're going to see when we clarify. And let me know in the comments below what that was. In your current situation right now happening, you have good news. I told you. Just wait for it. The Wheel of Fortune is finally turning in your favor. What does that mean? That means that all the work, all the effort that you've been putting into something that right now you're like, why is it not working? Is it ever going to work out? 
it means that it was not supposed to work before now. If it wasn't working before now, it wasn't supposed to. You weren't ready to receive those blessings because there was still something in the experience that you needed to learn, okay? And so now the universe is saying, okay, you've done the work, you've done the effort. I see that you've been learning your lessons, you've been growing, you've been evolving. Now you're ready. You're ready. I'm here to release all these blessings towards you, right? So get ready because all these blessings will be coming in, rushing in, starting right now, okay? The wheel of fortune is starting to turn in your favor. Good luck is going to be on your side. Anything you do, touch, say, you know, go, it's going to turn to gold, literally. Okay. So the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. I also see here that there's new love. Somebody here who is either already in love with you, falling in love with you, or this person that you're going to be meeting is very, very uh, nurturing. They're very intuitive. They're not very expressive emotionally. Okay. Uh, but they're very tuned into you. Okay. They have good intentions for others of you guys. If this is you, that means that you might be either, you know, um, feeling something, for someone or feeling something for a new project or a new idea, but you're not really expressing it. You're not really saying what it is. Okay. I'm seeing here that there's some spying going on, whether this person is spying on you because they like you, they have feelings for you, but they haven't said anything. They may be watching your social media. If you don't have social media, and that just means that this person is trying to get more information about you. They're trying to figure you out, they're trying to observe you from afar to see, okay, what, who are you around, right? What are you up to these days? You know, that kind of deal. And so, you know, they're observing you from afar. For others of you guys, okay, there's this energy where you're not sure about this new energy, about this new person coming in. And so you might be the one apprehensive. You might be the one like, hmm, I'm not sure. Let me study you a little bit. Let me let me get more information about you. And if this is something else, like a project, a career, you might be feeling like, okay, let me tune in to this project, this idea, this relationship, this person intuitively to pick up on their energy, you know, before, before committing or before saying something something or before diving in because you don't want to become a fool anymore because you've regretted something that you did in the past. Okay. Now, um, we're going to let that noise go by. Ooh, confirmation for a lot of you guys. Ambulance is confirmation. Okay. All right. Uh, let me know in the comments below what that's all about. In the near future, you have the four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles and the eight of wands. So yeah, in the near future, I see that you're not going to be too open to new things, new people. It's not going to be as easy for you to step outside of your comfort zone. Okay. But I do see that um, whether you, you do it yourself, step outside of your comfort zone or not, the universe is going to give you a little gentle push so that you can step outside of the comfort zone, right? That's what's going to happen. Okay. So I encourage you to open up a little bit in the near future because otherwise the universe is just going to do it for you. Okay. I see that in the near future, something here that you've been investing a lot of energy in on, um, money, love, attention, time, whether it's a relationship, career, business idea, whatever this is in the near future, <sighs> draw a breath. It's finally going to happen. It's finally going to pick up pace. Things are finally going to start moving forward where you've been feeling stuck. You're like, Oh my God, when is this finally going to move? Don't worry because it's finally going to pick up pace. And I'm telling you when things start picking up momentum in the, in the near future, which they will. Okay. It's going to be unstoppable energy. So if right now you have the time to think things through, to plan, okay. Um, to really, you know, take care of things that perhaps you've been putting on the back burner, do it do it because when things start moving forward, wh whatever you've been waiting on, it's going to happen. It's definitely going to move forward in the right direction. Okay. The lines of communication are going to start opening up a lot of texting, calling back and forth, plans for travel, plans to move a lot of action, action, action being taken. So don't worry, things are going to move forward. Okay. Coming towards you, who and what is coming towards you and in your opportunity, you're going to have an opportunity okay, to recover from some kind of um, either loss, financial loss, financial struggle for others of you guys, a painful ending. If you've gone through a very painful ending okay, or are going through a painful ending, don't worry. This is a reminder. The past the worst is now behind you. Okay. The worst is now behind you. Leave it behind. Just take the lessons with you, but you're going to heal. Look at that. The sun right in the middle, smack in the middle of both of these cards, right? 
This is all about your happiness, joy, fulfillment. You're going to get re receive great news. So what's coming towards you is good news. You're going to receive some kind of a surprising news that you never even expected. And if you did expect it, it's going to be way better than what you expected. Unimaginable. It's going to put a huge smile on your face. You're going to celebrate. There's going to be a lot of happiness, joy, fulfillment. If you've been feeling foggy, unclear, confused, don't worry because all the truth is going to be revealed. Okay, you're going to know what you need to know. Okay, in order for you to do what you need to do. If this is some kind of fears that's been that have been, you know, taking over you, self-sabotage or fear of rejection, fear of of making a move, fear of abandonment, don't worry because all those will be unfounded fears. Okay, unfounded fears. I see here that again, like I said, the sun is going to shine brightly. That is in your opportunity. Who and what is coming towards you? Something or someone that's going to bring in good news. Put a smile on your face. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Because I feel like most of you guys know what it is. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. So let's start clarifying your dominant energy, which is victory, success twice, right? You have the six of wands twice. What is this all about? So you have your wow, the magician, the knight of wands, and the eight of pentacles, as well as the eight of cups. Something here that has been disappointing you or has recently disappointed you, okay? I see here you walking away uh, feeling a little bit of a sense of disappointment, okay? Because you expected things to go one way and they ended up going the other. For others of you guys, somebody here is... They have feelings for you, but they're trying to detach themselves because they don't want to get hurt. Okay. And so there's that energy of walk that person walking away because they're afraid to be vulnerable. Okay. For others of you guys, you're just disappointed. You're like, you know what? This situation has disappointed me. And even though you still have some kind of emotional tie to that situation, to that person, place, thing, job, career, you know, idea, aspiration, whatever it is. Okay. You still see it clearly that you're going to have to detach yourself. Okay. Uh, and walk away. It's like the only thing that you can do right now. Okay. I'm also seeing here that don't worry because you're stepping into the magician. If you have not yet realized that you can manifest your dreams and you know, um, whatever you desire into a reality, it's time for you to step into your magician role because victory and success is here. We're, we're literally clarifying why victory and success is here. That's because you're going to be manifesting left and right. But in order for you to manifest, you have to step into your manifestation power. You have to realize, become aware of the power that you hold over the situation, right? And this is all about you connecting with your spirituality, connecting with source energy, doing affirmations, in order to create your new reality, right? You're going to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want, okay? I see here a new adventure coming through, a new exciting adventure for others. It's a new person coming in, a person here who is full of life, full of vitality, full of ideas. This person's going to be able to really motivate you, inspire you in so many ways. They're a, fun, they're a lot of fun to be around, okay? I'm also seeing here that there's a lot of enthusiasm, okay, coming your way. For others of you guys, you're just ready. You're ready to go for what you really want. You're confident confidence level, okay, is sky high. And I do see here that there's some kind of an energy of passion, a lot of passion, you know, you feeling passionate about life again, this person, you know, kind of um, bringing in passion, passionate moments. I see here that if this is a person that you're about to meet, or you're going to manifest, this person is going to be, you know, willing to mm, put in the work and the effort. Okay. But again, first, you have to be put up, uh, willing to be put you have to be willing to put in the work and the effort into yourself, into your manifestations, okay, into the belief, okay, um, you know, the belief of you being able to manifest your own reality, right? Because I do see here that it's not going to be easy. In order for you to be victorious, in order for you to be successful, you will have to put in work and you will have to put in effort. You're going to have to, you know, motivate yourself. You know, sometimes you don't feel like waking up in the morning and going to work or doing this or doing that, going to work out, whatever it is. And sometimes you just have to motivate yourself, right? So that's the energy that I'm sensing. It's like, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to motivate yourself. You know, you're going to see a little bit of challenges ahead but if you do not give up you're going to get what you want you're going to be victorious and you're going to be look at that victorious and successful okay but again it's going to require work it's going to require effort i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you it's not gonna be easy but you will be able to do it okay now let's go ahead and see if you are dealing with a person what is this all about 
You have here daydreaming. Look at that. You are always on my mind, even when I try to forget you. Somebody is literally daydreaming about you. You are on this person's mind day and night. You're always on my mind, even when I try to forget you. This person has tried to forget you time and time again, and it's laughable at this time. Okay. At this point, it's already laughable because look at this. You know, like they try and try to forget you, but they just cannot get you out of their mind. So there's a girl standing inside of this person's face. It's like they're everywhere. Everywhere they look, they see they see things that remind them of you. Okay. There could be a relation to sunflowers. There's a lot of sunflowers here. If some of you guys, you know, sunflowers come to mind in some kind of way. Let me know in the comments below. But somebody's daydreaming about you day and night. They cannot stop thinking of you. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this is all about. Tell me more so about these current energies. Let's let's clarify your current energy because you have the Wheel of Fortune. What is that all about? Wow, look at that. You have the Moon, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, as well as a Tower moment. Okay, so here we go. The tower moment, something here that's going to happen out of the blue. Okay. Oh my God. A shocking news, shocking revelation, a surprise, something here that all of a sudden happens, right? It's going to feel like the rug has been pulled from underneath your feet. Whoa. What just happened, right? For some, it could have been, or it could be right now because it's currently happening or about to happen, whether it's something crumbling whether this is career related, love related, family related, love related, whatever this is, okay? Something falling apart, a shocking news, shocking revelation, the truth finally being exposed, some kind of breakthrough moment. This is a breakthrough moment. This is necessary for it to happen in order for you to get your victory, your success, okay? Sometimes people ignore the red flags, okay? And they ignored the big elephant in the room. And this is a time when the universe is like, okay, I've sent you different messages for you to pay attention to the problem and you're not paying attention to it. Okay, well, I'm going to create this tower moment, breakthrough moment, clear and clean all these energies so that you can finally deal with what you have to deal with, right? But don't worry, it comes with a blessing in disguise. This has to happen in order for you to get what you want and what you need. For some, it could be the fact that you're growing sick and tired of something or someone. You're like, you know what? I'm no longer going to settle for anything less than what I deserve because the seven of wands is here. That means that you're going to have to stand firm in your conviction. This is all about you standing firm in your conviction and not letting people breadcrumb you, not letting a person here, you know, walk all over you. You're going to have to stand your ground. Okay. This is all about your strength, your tenacity. You not lowering your standards any longer okay this is uh not going to be easy because it means that there's challenges ahead there that means that there's going to be a push and pull you know people are not going to like it people are going to you know try to fight against you there's going to be competition but if you don't give in and you don't give up you will win okay this is also saying that you know um you might be kind of like a little bit, you know, um, feeling apprehensive, like, oh, I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do. But this is saying, don't lower your guard. Okay, there are times when it's advisable to lower your guard. Right now, it says don't lower your guard because there's going to be challenges ahead. Okay, but you have to, uh, you have to fight through these challenges and you will make it. I see here that you have to take care of those emotions. Those emotions might be making you feel a little bit, you know, anxious, you know, anxiety, giving you anxiety, that kind of thing. And it's kind of like this energy of, you know, going through illusions, like, is this just an illusion? You know, you might be feeling like what's true, what's real, who's real, who's not real. Is this person being real? Are they being honest? But this is telling you, you know, don't don't let your emotions get the better hold of you because your emotions are are kind of clouding your vision. You need to see things clearly for what they are, okay? And again, don't lower your standards, don't lower your guard at this time. You're going to need your guard out, okay? Now, let's go and see what that's all about. Ooh, it's a very kind of a powerful energy there. You have your proposal. Ooh, look at that. A proposal is coming. If you don't lower your guard and don't lower your standards, right? You're going to get what you want. Proposal. Whether it's a business proposal, a proposal for you to work for somebody, they're going to, you know, give you a higher paying job, a business proposal where you can make a lot of money in abundance, or a marriage proposal, whatever it is. Um, taking the next steps in the relationship or business partnership, let's move in together or let's make this business happen and get married. Okay. Or again, commitment in a, in a, 
marriage could also be like a commitment in a business partnership or in a career, right? So again, for some, it's a relationship proposal. You guys, you know, uh, this person wants to um, take the next steps in the relationship. They want to move in together. They want to get married. You see the house there with the keys. It says engagement there, the couple, happy couple, the ring there, right? The engagement ring. And for others, this is a, a business proposal, right? Where this person wants to, you know, um, make it happen with you with regards to a business partnership, abundance coming in, a long-term business relationship. It could also be a career, okay? They're going to be offering you a higher paying job or a position here congratulations it's coming but again don't lower your standards right don't go for the job that's not going to value you that's going to pay you what you're not worth right don't go for the relationship that is not seeing your value your worth that doesn't want anything long term right go for what you want don't lower your standards <laughs> okay all right, so um, now we're going to be going into the extended reading to see who this person is, more so about this situation, okay, their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you. We're also going to tune into the final result, okay, and any guidance messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended where we dive deeper into all these little details, then the link to that is in the description box below. And remember that right now I have 50% off all the extended readings. So I really recommend you check it out because it's literally at 50% off. Okay. You're not going to see this anywhere. 50% off the extended reading. You get the full extended. Okay. So again, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. Make sure that you keep supporting me and the channel by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell so that you're alerted and commenting down below. Any comment, okay, helps me and the channel grow. Okay. You can comment an emoji. You can comment how this reading resonated with you. I read all the comments. Okay. So please comment down below as well. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, for your support, and I'll see you in the extended. Bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Simon psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.